sexual energy. Okay, as I was talking about emotions. Okay, so we can use rhythmic breathing. Okay, but we can also use rhythmic breathing with sexual energy. And by sexual energy, I mean I don't mean that you need to have be doing this whilst having sex or anything like that. What I mean is that we can actually wake up this dormant superpower that we have within, which is our sexual creative life force energy. And through breathing techniques, okay, and energy locks, which we're going to be doing in a moment together. Okay, we can actually generate a massive current of energy in the body. Okay, it creates these euphoric, heightened brain states. Okay, of emotion, high emotion, high energy, high emotion. And what they've discovered actually is that this is the best state for changing the chemistry and the the anatomy of your brain. Okay, you actually enhance the power, the neuroplastic power of your brain. Which is the ability of your brain to change, and the reason why our reality never changes when we try and do law of attraction, or our life just stays the same, or we just seem to attract the same people over and over again into our life, the same relationships, the same careers, the same conversations, this endless spiral of the same. Okay, is because we haven't changed the brain. So we must use these techniques to change the brain. It's called neurogenesis. I call it direct neurogenesis. All right, they've actually done studies on this. All right, the power of using visualizations and imagery. Okay, and then they use the uh, different brain states to determine an energy state to determine which ones has the biggest impact. And the energy of orgasm actually has the most impact on your ability to actually change your brain, your actual thought processes, your hardwired habits, and and your hard disk of your computer can be changed, okay? Your supercomputer, your brain, okay, using this technique, okay? Because we can create the state, the same kind of state or the orgasmic state and actually make it last for even longer, all right? By using breath work, music and rhythm and holding your breath, okay? In a certain way, which we're all gonna do in a moment together. To wake up the sexual energy, okay, what we have to do is use a component that's very no well known in yoga called the mula bandha. Okay, the mula bandha is your pelvic floor, okay, muscles, the perineum, okay, and the way you actually stimulate those, okay, is to imagine holding onto your urine. Okay, if you really, really, really need to pee, okay, and you're holding your urine in and you're cutting off the flow so uh, you don't wet yourself, okay, imagine drawing up those muscles up. On your inhale. So you first you'd breathe in and contract the muscles at the top and then let go. On your exhale. And again, no pause. Breathe in again. Contract up the muscles and then let go. Relax on the exhale. So then it's like a pump. Okay, so you're pumping this mula bandha, this sexual energy centers in your body, and that will start circulating the good feelings, the good hormones around your body. Okay.